Alright, so, uh, hello everyone, it's been a while. Uh, I've recently made um, a survey script, well, a script a tutorial actually, on how to overclock your NVIDIA GPU on the Linux, and I've made some tweaks to it, some changes, and I felt like I should explain some of this stuff. So, let's go over it for a little while. So, uh, first off, make sure you move this down. There we go. So, first off, oh, great. We're already moving desktops despite not touching anything. There we go. Uh, we can have the terminal window up here. So, uh, first off, you need to install or, in fact, enable CoolBets, which is a NVIDIA proprietary thing. Great, I already goofed up. Yeah, you just punch this in, this is going to enable it, type in your password and everything, and that's it. Uh, to enable overclocking directly from the NVIDIA control panel, if you don't know what that is, it's mo it's under settings and NVIDIA X server settings. That's that basically. And you should have like under programizer and formal settings that should be what you will have. I have already overclocked it to the limit, so it's quite a decent overclock for higher than on Windows. And what you want to do is you want to open your XORG file. I recommend that you make a backup first, just in case you break something. But what you want to do is you want to edit the file. Now I'm just going to open it as a text file. I'm not going to edit it at all. You'll scroll down to the file section screen. It's usually way down here. And you should see here an option here. It says option uh, cool bits 28, which is what we've enabled with the last command. Which is basically what you tell here. You should see this this basically with no changes. And what you want to add is this flipping long line. Actually, let me stretch that out a bit. You'll add this freaking long line. It's quite a long boy, as you can see. It's quite long, but you'll have to edit, like, add it in right before it says subsection display and direct directly after the cool bits thing right here. Once you do that, it should look something like this, as I mentioned here. Which is basically this, if I move the arrow down fully. Which is basically this. Once you're done with that, you you should reboot, just either with reboot or studio reboot. Depends on what distro you use. Once done, uh, I would recommend that you first find your overclock. Once you do find your stable overclock, like I do right here, uh, you should then make a script that will do it for you. So uh, here I've mentioned the number hashtag one should be the same, and numbers hashtag can be any number. I should mention here that here it should be like a, in a scale from 0 to 100. Let me actually open up the file. Um, so as you can see this is my um, automatic, automatic overclocking script that will launch after startup. And uh, here the first volume, the GPU graphics clock offset is basically this right here. The memory offset is right here. This also counts for the memory transfer, so I recommend that you type in the same values, and I just now see that it's not matching. So let me fix that. I think I just typed in my password wrong. Yep, classic mishaps. And here I'll just edit the number from 780 to 760 because I don't want to risk it breaking my computer. There we go. Control S. So there we go, that's it edited. Uh, so these two numbers, this 760 on the memory offset and memory transfer rate offset should be the same. And um, this one, 
has to be set at 1 if you want to control the fan speed which is affected by the value right here this will basically it will set the percentage at which your fan is spinning from 0% to 100% so I've got it at 75% which isn't that loud it's actually not that loud as I thought it would be it's actually just setting right here that we are changing uh, what else um, you'll see your um, clock, your graphics clock along with your memory transfer rate of your GPU right here is getting it's being updated automatically so you don't have to wait which is really nice uh, after you've done that by the way you should use this command instead to create the file and then you should make it executable um, the way you make it executable is by running sudo change mod plus x which will make the file executable so it runs like a application once you log in and then you will have to add it into your startup uh, I am using XFCE so I'm going to show you what I'm using so if you go to application settings and settings manager which is right, at, right up over here you should find uh, where is it session and startup which is right here uh, application auto start and you should see this one you will basically add it give it a name a description and the command and the command should be bash and the location of the script and this should make it auto start every single time you turn your computer let me show you on my example right here I have it executed like bash and then where the script is located I'm using a GT730 so let me fix that, there we go <laughs> um, yeah that's basically it so after that you just reboot again with sudo reboot or just reboot uh, I've recommended that you, that you make this script after you've tested your overclock if it's stable usually it should last for multiple hours I wouldn't recommend testing for 15 minutes and saying it's fine just go for multiple hours just to make sure it's rock solid and you should be fine and yeah that's pretty much it I felt like I should share this to some of you because most people told me they cannot leave windows because they cannot even overclock anything um, most of my friends have NVIDIA GPUs anyway uh, for AMD GPUs I would have to figure it out ask some of my friends Possibly, but I am not really sure how it works under AMD GPUs, so I'm really sorry. <laughs> I prefer NVIDIA GPUs because I've had most success with them, so I prefer using those instead. But that's pretty much it. Uh, there's nothing else to it, just a simple guide that will be in the description down below. You can either follow me on GitHub or on my on my web page there are all my contacts you can visit those and that's pretty much it uh, so this gets have been a lot uh, actively recently so yeah um, if I think that there's something interesting I'll let you guys know but uh, that's pretty much it so make sure to leave a like possibly subscribe and let me know what you think of this type of content because i'd like to make some more of it all right so i'll see you guys next time bye